Now, one of the really cool features about the F4 Phantom Simulator is that it has a fully functional anti-G suit system. So what's an anti-G suit system? Well, when a fighter pilot turns, a max performance turn, it is a highly physical situation. All the blood is pushed from their brain down towards their toes. When enough blood leaves your brain, the pilot passes out. This is called a blackout. All right, your first ride is going to be that gradual onset ride to a maximum of seven Gs. Okay. Are you ready? I guess, yes. Yeah, ready. I'm ready. Uh, sure. I'm moving the beam. Okay, big breath, lock it off and hold it. You're on top, breathe. Hold. On top, breathe. One, two, breathe. One, two, breathe. No to your breath. One, two, Breathe. One, two, breathe. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Hello? Are you with me? You coming back around? Hello? How you doing? What? Hello, Will? Hello. Will, sit up. I'm up. Sit up. I'm up. You're up? Yeah. Put your head up. It is up. Put your head up. Oh. You feel nauseated? Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna vomit. Okay, get the bag. Get the bag. He <laughs> <laughs> was a big guy. Okay. I actually have no comments for you. Everything looks real good. How you feel? <laughs> Woo! Good job. Oh. Woo! Give the, a pilot a few more seconds of endurance while performing a maximum G turn. They wear a G suit, which puts pressure on the lower body to help keep the blood up in your brain. To ride along with the best. We're gonna pull a couple G's on this one. You wanna get on that hook maneuver? All right. We're coming back right. Here we go. All right, buddy. Oh, yeah. There's six. Oh. There's seven. This is about seven and a half. Yeah, that's about seven and a half or so. That's pretty good. That's about seven and a half, I think. On that pole. See those guys down there riding their four wheelers? Sure. I think I passed out there for a sec. Did you? Yeah. Now in the simulator, what we use the anti-G suit for is, is a cue system so that the, the pilot can feel what the aircraft is doing. Now without the G suit, people sit in the simulator, you pull a high G turn, and you don't think twice about it. But that's not realistic. In a fighter, you're affected by the physical strain of the turn. So what the G suit does is it puts pressure on your stomach, in your lower legs. So two things happen. It actually makes it kind of hard to breathe and it um, actually kind of hurts. So after a few moments you just naturally stop pulling the high G turns like you would in the real aircraft. So the end result is when you use the anti-G suit system your flying techniques are much more realistic. Now I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how to put the G suit on and how we connect it in the simulator. The way a G-suit works is air is pushed into bladders inside the G-suit and those bladders put pressure on your body. The simulator has an air system that is controlled by the computer. So in the simulation, when the simulator is pulling high G, the simulator kicks in the G-suit and you feel the pressure on your body. This particular G-suit was used by an actual F-4 Phantom pilot called Sonic k -Bob. So this G suit has a lot of actual F4 Phantom flight time behind it. Okay, so when the G suit inflates, 
the air pushes here, it pushes here on your legs, and also your lower legs. This is the hose that connects into the uh, valve, and the air goes through here and inflates the suit. So now that I have the G-suit on, let's go check it out in the simulator.